Hello, my name is Michael Solt, and I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to present our case of an aortoiliac aneurysm repair with bilateral iliac branch stent grafting. This is a case of a 51-year-old male who is asymptomatic, who has a history of hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and diabetes, who presented to our clinic with a distal aortic and bilateral common iliac artery aneurysms. We performed an aortogram, which demonstrated two dominant renal arteries with a small accessory renal artery on the right. We noted that there was an occluded IMA with patent common internal and external iliac arteries bilaterally with an aneurysm in the distal aorta as well as in both iliac arteries. Over a stiff wire, the left iliac branch device was advanced into the aorta. After some manipulation of the device, the wrap was undone. After this, we performed an angiogram, which allowed us to evaluate the location of the hypogastric artery and the iliac branch device was placed and deployed in the correct position. The advantage of the up and over wire access is that the internal iliac gate of the device has been pre-cannulated and we now have wire access. We then deployed the ipsilateral limb, which landed short of the iliac branch device on the left. An additional bridging stent was then placed. Again, a bridging stent was used with care taken to make sure there was adequate overlap as well as not intrusion on the flow divider in the left iliac branch device. Two XXL balloons were then used to post dilate the flow divider in the main body and a coda balloon was used to allow adequate apposition in the neck of the aneurysm. The remainder of the graft was angioplastied using a coda balloon. An angiogram was then performed, which showed an adequate result with no evidence of an endo leak, with good flow through the aorta, patent renal arteries bilaterally, patent common internal and external iliac arteries. Following this completion angiogram, both sheaths were removed. The pre-closure devices were then used to close the arteriotomies and pressure was held. The patient was awakened and transported to recovery in stable condition with palpable pulses. He was admitted to the floor overnight for observation and was discharged home the following day. He had subsequently been seen in the clinic with where he had been recovering well with no complications. We would like to again thank you for the opportunity to present this work, as well as Eric Jarvie for his assistance with the production of this video.